poor artists. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dalar's Twi'lek Tactics. In this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of help with guild expedition teams. Now, uh, as of the recording of this video, guild expedition isn't necessarily a locked-in game mode, but um, I don't know. I think that this one has a little bit more of a chance versus the guild vs. guild PvP mode to actually stick around and be implemented in-game. Um, I'm not going to go over the shortcomings or the benefits or the, the highlights of Guild Expedition in this video. This video is going to be a really, really quick one to, to kind of give you guys some help if you don't really know how what teams are, are good enough uh, for Guild Expedition. Now, in uh, for out of respect for the uh, people that have uh, put in the time to, to test out these teams and to do these teams, um, in this video I'm not going to be showing you any... Uh, walkthroughs, any mechanics, any order of operations for teams. This video is just basically to uh, tell you or to show you that I have added a, a guild expedition team guide of sorts onto my master spreadsheet, which is linked in the description below. I, uh, I link my uh, spreadsheet in every single video. Where do I want to put my face? Let's put it down here. Okay, so we're going to zoom in. Basically, the, the layout of this sheet has all the bosses up top. And what I did was I just went, um, look, perused through the hits that people were doing. And I'm in here too. I'm in some of these. But I grabbed the the highest scoring team. And that screenshot is at the top. And then I kind of like cherry picked different lineups. And the lowest scoring team is at the bottom. Now, that is not the lowest scoring team that did an attempt on this boss. It's just... A respectable score that is the lowest out of a range of respectable scores that I chose to to, to take screenshots of. So uh, so that we can see this, let's uh, let's blow this up a lot more. Uh, let's go full screen. Okay, so then you can actually see some of these. Ooh, still pretty small. Let's blow it up a little bit more. Let's go 200. Although that means there's gonna be a lot of scrolling. Okay. Full screen. Okay, so say like the hunter boss, right? So what you do is this is the highest score that I've seen on that boss. It is basically an assassin team with the SP hunter, okay? Now, I understand no one has the SP hunter. So if we scroll down, here's another score, you know, 10 billion with the SP hunter. Uh, 9 billion. So this one's a 9 billion team. It is still more assassin than hunter you know they got sam al in here but we do have rebecca in here versus uh artemis who is up here in the sp comp uh, you see res is in there so if we scroll to the very bottom you see now there's no res now this is a, a more of a pure hunter comp i do believe this was this was my no this was not mine nope it was not mine because i got more of evolutions on my artemis or my arcadia uh actually you know this might be mine but this is more of a pure hunter team. You know, it's got the hunter commander, hunter, hunter, assassin, Purin. And I did 4.9 uh, billion damage. And this is going to be the same for every other team you see on here. So you go to the boss and then you scroll down. What was the highest hit that I recorded on the Thunder Dragon? 6.4 billion. It was uh, Hagridon again. And then this is a pure Vanguard team with Korra. Because if you remember, Korra ups the HP and attack of Vanguards as well as Assassins by 20%. So this is going to be the best in-slot team as of now at the time of this recording. I will update this spreadsheet as I, uh, with each iteration of Guild Hunt as uh, stuff comes into play. But again, I am not, do not come into my Discord asking for how to do it. Because that is, since it's a competitive game mode, that is reserved for my uh, Alliance specifically. I will give you the team comps, but it's up to you to figure out how to hit these numbers. So this one, this look at this. Here's a 5.5 billion hit with artists, right? Look at artists go, right? Still being used. Uh, but you see Barag almost maxed out, Ares, Immortal 3, Batu, and then Miranda, right? People are, And the reason why people are using Miranda is because um, you can't use her once you use her once for the day. So as such, if you can use Purin... Or Fiona on the other two other teams, then use Miranda here. Uh, let's scroll down to the bottom. Now we're getting down to 4.7 bill. 
And you see this one's got a Cora as well. But if we look at this one, which was 4.8 bill, no Cora. Uh, but it, it's, it is using Leo. And it is a almost maxed out Leo. But it is a maxed out Ares, who's going to be the majority of your damage. But, you know, this is probably more free-to-play friendly versus every other team or screenshot I did that had Cora, Except for this one that had Artis at 5.5 billion. And just rinse and repeat for the last two bosses. Uh, top score on Idar is this assassin team, right? Fiona, Purin, two, you know the two, the two support uh, with the with only two assassins, which is odd given that you're not gonna. Well, I guess it's not PVP, so you're not missing out on the bonus of the commander. And then Res. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, 4.6, still a respectable hit. Samael. Uh, Matoko, Rickert, Dominic, and this isn't even a fully evolved Matoko and just Fiona. So you can get a little bit of a range of teams. And then Thunder B, which is the summoner. Best team. Uh, actually, the best score on this one uh, was a full summoner team. I have seen a better score with Purin in this team, though, without Sir Valley. And then, like here, you know, this is the same team. 5 billion. Same, well, here's a team with Purin, 4.3 billion. Uh, same team, 4.1. This team has Purin, 3.8, right? But see, Sif, Immortal, 0. Whereas this top team was Sif, Immortal, 5. Okay, so the summoner team is probably going to be the most standard team because you can just run the typical summoner team and get uh, a score that is going to be determined by the evolution level of your Ampu and your core or not your, your sif if i'm looking look actually ampu's doing the most damage followed by sif so really it's going to be determined by your ampu and your sif evolutions so ladies and gentlemen that is my new tab that is my guild expedition tab on my master spreadsheet which is linked in the description of this video i hope it helps pass it around pass the link around pass this video around um i will update uh, as when I can, you know, I don't update on a regular schedule. I just pick a day when I'm not doing anything and I sit down, take a bunch of screenshots and then plug them into my spreadsheet. And then, uh, it's for all of you. So ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopeful. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, no word of the day. I don't know. Ball. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, cheers. Peace. Bye-bye.